Yep. So we're just going to uh, do a little bit of a Q and A today. We're going to grill you for the next few minutes and get us to tell you, tell us everything you know about your artwork, who you are, everybody wants to know. Yes. So we've got um, a, a kind of an overview of Adrian's artwork in slide form, starting with some drawings and then moving into uh, some of the soft sculpture stuff and then finishing maybe with a bit of a conversation about your yeah. um, chapter few workshop experience. Yes. We've had a little a few rehearsals, so I've got a few trigger points and yeah. little things that Adrian would like to talk about. Yes. But would you like to start by telling us about your um, artistic process in general, Adrian? Big question, isn't it? I call it like a superpower. Yeah, excellent. Tell us about that because I love it when you talk about your your creative abilities as a superpower. I don't know, I just like thinking about ideas and that's it. Yeah. Excellent. You um I've got a quote here from you from the other day that um from our first rehearsal where you said that your thoughts lead to the artwork. Yep. And then I've written here, discuss. <laughs> Tell us about that. When, when you say your thoughts lead to the artwork, tell us a little bit about what you mean. Um, my psychiatrist said to write them more down. Yeah. yeah. So I did. I undid that before her. So you record everything. Yes. Yeah. Because you yeah. love to think, don't you? Yes. Yeah. You think a lot. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And it all comes out in your artwork. Yeah. Yeah. It's a bit the politics. Oh yeah. Tell us about that. It is quite. Got a keen eye for politics, you know, when um, the, the Minister for Disability is making bad decisions and doing mm -hmm. things that might um, impact you and your lifestyle. In politics, all aliens. Oh, excellent. <laughs> yeah. we, we, we don't like aliens. No. I am not the people, not aliens. A lot of your work ends up in your visual diaries too, doesn't it, Adrian? Yep. Let's see if we can get to those. These are just a few of Adrian's drawings. Pastel, yep. pencil, yep. painting. Painting pen. Painting pen. You use a lot of a big variety yes. of mediums, don't you, Adrian? Yep. Why, why do you do that? Why do you like to stick with just one thing? I don't know. I just like to change. Yeah. Yes. In, in the studio, Adrian is constantly drawing, <laughs> even through lunch. There's a recent exhibition of Adrian's lunchtime suite of work by Caroline Manson, who's with us tonight. Um, just you don't stop to no. a burger with a lot in one hand and a, and, a, and, a, and a pen in the other. Oh, so these are the these are the visual diaries, which were again highlighted in the recent exhibition. Um, it's a really interesting process. Tell us about how you put these together, Adrian. You got it from the TV. Yeah. So what do you do? I am um, one TV and then I do my pictures. You take photos. Yes. Of the of the TV screen. Yes. And what what prompts you to take a photograph of a particular image? Listening and all of that. Yeah. Yes. And then what down to office works? Yes. Yeah. Excellent. Yep. So Adrian's gone. Books and books and books and books and boxes of books yes. with um, all of the images that he collects and photographs. Um, yep. And uh, yeah, it, it's quite amazing how he, how he puts them together and they kind of tell their own story. There's a bit of a choose your own adventure element to them. Yep. But they're absolutely wonderful. So they're not only kind of um, art pieces in their own right, but they really are where you get to generate a lot of your drawings and paintings from. Is that correct? Yep. Um, tell us about wordplay and how important that is to you and your partner. I don't know, I just like making people laugh. Okay, mm -hmm. so you do it to get a laugh. Yes. And then it kind of generates into an artwork. Are these some um, artworks that were made from pictures collected from your visual diary? Yes. Yeah. Excellent. Are they wrestlers, Adrian? I don't know, they could. Yeah. We were having a talk about that earlier, weren't we? Is that the clown? Ah, from the pictures of clowns. Yeah. Yes. Clowns are one of your favourite subjects? Yes. What are some of your other favourite subjects? Zombies, you know. Yes. And, um. Yeah. I've got Mandy Rose written down here, who's she? Yeah. 
And then continent blue caps there. <laughs> <laughs> so we were, we were debating in the car on the way up whether we were going to talk about Adrian's idea for the continent. Clue Clux Clown. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much thought it was going to make a mess of those white sheets. <laughs> so, so you brought, you you brought, <laughs> you brought it up now. What do you want to say? I don't know. Why do white sheets that should be using at the toilet paper? <laughs> I thought he agreed we were going to talk about that. <laughs> I don't know. He's not thinking No problem. <laughs> all right, that's all right. Here we go. Um, so, tell us about this. You've got a few images in this suite of work that are quite mental, um, yeah, quite um, full on, aren't they? Yes, and you, you were telling me about uh, your opinion about those the other day. Yes. What were you yes. saying about that? Long time ago in history, when they used to put people with disabilities in mental hospital, yeah, homes, yeah. Now they don't do any more better. Yeah, much better, isn't it? Yeah. 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 And, and yeah, I really like the fact that you kind of, you know, you you have a, a feeling and a thought about that, and you look at the history and you realise, yes. you know, how bad things were once upon a time. Yes. It's a pretty, been, it's a pretty great image. Sorry. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. What's interesting about these days is that the the, the person in the straight jacket is that a, a collage? It's a painting from the water. Yeah, and that's kind of stuck mm -hmm. on it, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Is it stitched? Yeah, yeah. yeah, I think I think so. Is that right, Adrian? Is that stitched? Yep. I think there's more examples of it here, yeah. This is brilliant. So yeah. what's the name of this one again when we're talking about it? Zombie and yeah. Zombie and that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It needs to, I mean, it doesn't necessarily need the title, but that really has something to it. And again, these are kind of soft, soft figures stuck onto the. I think they're iron, photocopied iron fabric and then stitched and stuff. Yeah. So they're fairly old works, Adrian. Who do you make those with? Rachel. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about Rachel because she really got you involved in oh, using. Yeah. So we had a Rachel Guy. Uh, yeah. Tell us about Rachel Guy. She used to live in Tasmania. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so she introduced a lot of our artists to the idea of soft sculpture and, and uh, yeah, yeah. And textile stuff. She she came in to do a kind of a puppetry course, so lots of the artists got involved in that. And yeah. I think is that really where you kind of started taking things beyond just drawing a painting? Yeah. Yeah. Because you're quite the experimenter anyway, aren't you? you kind of just try things and you know, yeah. always going off script with, yeah. with what materials might do and, yeah. and you know, things like that. Yeah, yeah it's beautiful. I think there might be one more here. Yeah. 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 So this is fantastic. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so I like the character in the wheelchair user on the right. Is there any, anything to be said about about him? Oh, yeah. he looks like he. What's <coughs> that blood in his face? I don't know. It could be. Yeah. I feel like there's something a little bit maybe apocalyptic going on. Yeah. Oh, <coughs> okay, so this is a good example of the puppetry you were talking about. Yes. Yep. Did that. Adrian, what are the hands made? Is it paper mache or? Yeah, and the head? So yeah, so this is beyond the man you Oh, uh, they're Mandy Rose now. Tell us about Mandy Rose. Is she one of your favourite wrestlers? Yes. What do you that like? Brock, Brock Lesnar. Another wrestler? Yes. Yeah. So they feature pretty heavily in your work, don't they? Yes. Yeah. Yes. If you don't have a, if you don't have a pen in your hand at lunchtime while you're having your lunch, you're watching some wrestling on YouTube, you recently discovered the, yeah. the Glow wrestlers, didn't you? Oh, yeah. Then one event that was beautiful lunchtime was yeah. a good idea yeah. for my eyes. Oh, that's right. That was that was me. That was your mum. Just have to say. No, that was you. Yeah. Mom, you know, <laughs> do you remember you said? I don't know what you're talking about. You remember you said Ben, my mobile phones and all of that. Oh yeah, no, that was me. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> uh, you're right. It was. It was me. 
Bobby Bobby keep on going there. Bobby does. Bobby, Bobby. <laughs> Bobby, Bobby in. Yeah. Um, so you do a lot of this textile stuff with Joe and Peter on a Monday, don't you? Yes. Yeah. So we, we kind of develop the puppetry program into yes. the extended practice program, yes. which gives the artist a chance to try lots of different things, sewing machines. Yeah. And, yeah. Which is and why I think. The you, release to yeah. Oh, yeah. So no this. Is that one? <coughs> this one, Adrian finished when he was That's working here as well. Yeah, so this was, you brought this from the studio one. and that started your residency with this with you, Adrian. Yep. Yeah. yeah, and you've got a lovely photograph of you with it a bit later on. Zombie Groom. Zombie Groom and the church. church. Yeah. And we don't know whether the Zombie Groom is marrying himself. Yeah. Oh, or a funeral. Oh, a funeral now. Maybe you can have a funeral. You can have a funeral then. You can have anything in church and stuff. That's great. Yeah. No, it couldn't be any. Afternoon tea. Mm -hmm. Probably could be getting christened. Yeah. Very. <laughs> um, oh, this one. So there's some great examples of your, your fabric work. No, mate. These are lovely. Guitar, yeah, we can play the guitar. Thanks. Yeah, now, Adrian, what do you, you also have um, taken your art practice into another format to maybe yes. over life here as well? Yes. You? you know what I'm alluding to there? Comic book, yeah, comic books. So Adrian's um, joined our uh, zine program, which we've been running for the last two, two years now, yes, and um. Yeah, Adrian's comic book. Captain Cardinal Face. Yes. So Adrian gives a lot of, um, it's a superhero based kind of um, thing, isn't it? Back from my, my Apple thumb operation. Yeah, yeah, that's right. We're going to talk about that. So he has got a, a zine. <coughs> I'll find it. Um, we can come back to it. Do it again. Oh, oh, oh. What did you done? Oh, I've made, I've made a mess. Made a boom boom. There it is. So there's Captain. That's the cover of Captain Cardinal Face. Yep. It's a Z by A. <coughs> and on the left here we've got um, Kebab. Kebab Man? Yeah. Yeah. It's from and Kebab. Yeah, so Kebab Man is a superhero that throws poison kebabs at, I, I'm, I'm assuming, villains. Yes. Yeah. Do they do they die from the from yes. the poison kebab? Yes. And what's Captain? So yeah, there's a story behind Captain Cardinal Face. Tell My me. uncle Thumb of us. Yeah. When he nearly young broke his thumb, but that to touch him. Yeah. So he was crying into everyone about the Thumb of poison and then later did something else, and I got Captain Cardinal Face from him. Amazing. <laughs> Some operation to Captain Cardinal Face. Yes. I, I, I but I never told him. Oh, you haven't? I used to love to hear that story. I, I never told him. <laughs> Jim Funkle never told him. So you've got some other ideas about zines that you'd like to do. Tell us about, I'm taking a risk here, Pooh Pants Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> I've got, again, I've got disgust. <laughs> the Pooh Pants Brothers. Is that the same as the... No, is that a tell them about the Pooh Pants Brothers? <laughs> I just saw them two guys in the West Wing, and that's Tom and Billy Wiggle. They didn't like to interpret James. I can't yeah, I know. No, no. Oh, you don't want to. They didn't like American Tom. I made them that the Pooh Pants Brothers. I don't know why. I don't know why either. I can't wait to see that one. And we've also got the Six Pack Mower. Tell us about that one. I'm looking forward to that. Mower, what's that? The six pack mower. The six pack mower. Yeah, the six mower. Yeah. It's like, it's like, so it's out. It's out. It's out. It's out. Yeah, excellent. Is that going to be a kind of a superhero lawn mower as well? Yeah. I look forward to that. So plenty of things to come. And JJ? Oh, yeah, tell us about JJ. Yeah. Like, all of the other line group. Proper, but JJ wasn't properly with 
now I'll spin and now I'll stop it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. scary. Yeah, that's going to be quite hard to read, I think, that one. <laughs> so here's your the Australian Tapestry Workshop. Hey! <laughs> Mad Hatter? Yeah, Mad Hatter. So where did you get the idea for the Mad Hatter song? Why did you choose to do that? I am going to do one of my books. Yeah. Was that a Coke? Mad Hatter Coke. Ah. And you've got a particular favourite Mad Hatter, don't you? Yes. So this is Johnny Depp's Mad Hatter? Yes. And uh, what's the other one? Martin Saw. Oh, yeah. Would Mad Hatter? Yeah. Yes. So did you enjoy the Australian Capital Workshop experience? Yes. Tell us a little bit about it. What was, um, what was it like? Good. Yeah. It required. Yeah. Yep. Was it quiet when you were there, or was it just quiet when you were there? Quiet when you were when I was there. Yeah. And you met you met everybody. Everybody met me. Yes. Well. Welcome. Yes. And then he took Mister B. Oh. Oh right. Yes. Yeah. We talked about it earlier. Yeah. So did you meet Mister B to the to the taxi workshop? Yes, Jody did. Oh, good. So, were you? Uh, what kind of materials were available to you? What What was that? How, how did that work? The wall and the drawing and everything. Yeah, you were given. And the loop as well. Yeah. Very exciting. Yeah. So. This is the one that Adrian worked on. So he was able to use this loom from here. And any of the colours in the wool shelves there, you could choose any colour you wanted. It's been more added since we met. So is it? So did we say it was complete, or is it still more to go? Okay, so so, I don't know. I don't know. Good complete. Yeah. So just about is ready to come off the loom. Yeah. Hopefully, it looked as good as Bowman's when it came off the loom. Yeah. <laughs> Yep. So we've got a few people doing um, looms now in the studio. It's been really, it's been really exciting to have people yeah. to continue their work in that area. Yes. And don't forget the skinheads and the and the strong skinheads that lift up the car. What do you mean that? The the skinhead grab me and turn me upside down and lift up a car and put it on my private car. When did that happen? In my dream. Oh, <laughs> you really need to start by telling me that. Yeah, that's all right. We didn't. We didn't practice that. One. That's for you. And then you wanted to. Uh, so I wanted. To, I asked you why you came to the Australian Terrace Workshop, and you told me why. Um, and and are you going to tell me why you came to the Australian Terrace Workshop to do the Zoo residency? Yes. Go on. Yeah. yeah. You're gonna. Is that still the reason why? Just more. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Is that is that the reason why you, you did it? Yeah. You're gonna speak. Yeah. Can you say it? Uh -huh. It's gonna lose the impact if you don't say it. <laughs> I'm gonna say it for you. It's a. Uh, Adrian, I asked Adrian uh, why he wanted to come to Australian Chapter Workshop, and he said he did it for his country. Very noble. My country. Oh, then that's there. We go. Yep. Adrian, is there anything else you'd like to add to the um, presentation? Before we finish, no, it's pretty. Are you done everything? I think yeah, we've done the slides. Yeah. We did, we did pass over a couple of really beautiful ones. We yes. forgot to talk about the. the um, yeah, we. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We got the. Oh, yeah. So Andrew's yeah. got, got a really um, nice curiosity about the LGBTQ <laughs> um, yeah. community, haven't you? So there's lots of questions about that, and you really, you really enjoy kind of getting an understanding for how that community works, don't you? And it comes in, in your artwork quite a bit. Lesbian community, bisexual, lesbian, everything. Yeah, yeah. So we, we, 
tackle those things in the studio. Some uh, yeah. long time ago, they need to get get age a long time ago with yeah. all of that stuff, but now, now it's fine. Yeah, it's all good now. Yeah. yeah. And, and actually, speaking, speaking of um, it's our third Mercury died. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. People are people are a lot more understanding and a lot more yeah. um, diligent about those kind of things now. Yeah, long time ago, that never you accepted, so they put a female into a man. Yeah, yeah. So these are all the things yes, that Aiden really yeah. likes to kind of talk about and explore in the studio. And the great thing is that it comes out mm. in some really nice creative work too. Yep. Yep. And then, yeah. Yeah. yeah, super. Shall we call that a wrap, Aiden? Yeah. Thank you so much for talking to us tonight. Yep. <laughs>